Hello. I am coming on because I pulled out this pad that I've had for a while. And I've been, I don't know, afraid to use it because then it'll be gone, which is just silly. So it's just sitting there. <laughs> so I need to, I need, I need to make something. I need to, to cut it up in a way that is more, it's kind of like new material for me when I'm sewing. <clears throat> I hate taking that first cut. All right, so what I did first was I went through the pad and I pulled out this bird page because I'm gonna fussy cut these and I'm gonna fussy cut the cameras. Those are so adorable. And I'm gonna fussy cut these words. There's so many words and they're really neat words. So I pulled these three out. That was the first thing I've done. All right, the second thing, I'm going to do is I want to cut this these bits and pieces up so let me get my longer cutting board here all righty and get those put away so they'll stop falling down I'm always moving stuff around silly me all righty there so now what I want to do is I want to cut these apart so I'm going to line it up on there I'm going to cut that way and that way. And this is a nice white piece, so that can go in with my white scraps. There. And I can cut this border piece off. Alrighty, so that's a nice piece. I can cut this top piece off. Excuse me. All righty, that can go with my whites. Putting those in my white bag. Get on in there. All right, now I've got this nice piece that I can make back. I can use this as backgrounds. I think that'll be really pretty. All righty. So the question is, what size do I want them? All right. So I'm thinking. Let's see how wide is two rows will be what three four inches okay that's actually not bad all right so if I cut these four by four that'll be perfect on a card so there's four inches and I'll cut this down four inches and this one I can cut in half there and do the same thing here. There, and one more cut. And this is perfect, because then that gives me two, four, six, six card, card uh, layers. And this portion, I can just make sure I cover that with something. So those will be nice for card layers. Alrighty. So I like that idea. So let me Put these over here in my little container for card layers. And let's look at these now. Alrighty. There's a whole bunch here. <clears throat> and I think what I'm gonna do with the with the rest of, rest of these, because there's there's 25 pages in total. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just take these and I wanna at least cut them. I think I'm gonna just go go for it and just cut them in four, in uh six four by six strips. <clears throat> So first thing I have to do is remove these. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on, let me get a drink. And that's better. Much better. Alrighty, so I can go over there. This needs to be cut down to four by six pieces. So four inches, so that's three, four. So there's four, and here's four. And I guess that was a little bit less than four, but that's okay. Alrighty, there with another strip. Then I can cut these in half into six inch pieces, but I'll wait to do that just yet because <clears throat> I'll cut all those at the same time. So I'm just going to pile those on the side because that way I can use my guillotine cutter instead of using this silly blade. 
because this blade needs to be changed. But for what I'm doing now, then I don't mind doing it. Yep. And I have more blades. I just need to swap them out. And then by cutting it four by six, then it gives me six pieces, six cards that I can make, <clears throat> which is wonderful. Yep, yep, yep. Plus it gives me these little strips to play with too. All right, let's do another one. Even though this is boring, watching, watching them cut them apart is definitely, I'm sure it's definitely boring. But I wanted to do this to show you that this is what I like to do with my, when I do get these type of pads of paper. Because for me, it's a lot easier to use these, the scraps, because that's what I use mostly, I deal with mostly. But sometimes I do like to have bigger pieces so that I can actually make some fancy cords using the fancy papers and depending on the paper rather than rather than putting all the bits and pieces together and then using that all righty there all right I'll get a couple more pretty cool because it's got the words perfect delightful yep this is great everything I never want to forget yes be free so there's some more words right there that's pretty cool um so these words can go right in the word bin Small words right there, stick it in there. This is funny because I've got a pad that, a whole pad that's like this. <clears throat> yep, just rainbows of colors. But there are all these mountain designs on it. I've had that pad for quite a while. But it's fun to go through and use them. All right, now these are a couple toppers that I had on from the other ones that I cut off from the birds and the, <clears throat> excuse me, the birds and the, yeah, the cameras and the words. So I can pick those off now. I love when they have the colored tops like this too. I just think that's really clever. And it helps to show how they look when you put them together. Yep, it does. these colors together, that blue and green. It's just so sharp looking. Something about that pink and black and yellow and gray. Oh my goodness, just gorgeous colors together.
So do you just keep your decorative paper as a pad or do you cut them up? Is it easier for you to use them once you cut them up? Or what do you do with yours? I find it interesting because we all do such you know, similar but yet different things. reminds me of seashells. Oops. Every once in a while when I'm putzing around on Amazon and I, if I see, sometimes I'll see a pad of paper like this on sale for a pretty decent deal. And that's, that's when I'll get them. Not too, too often. Not even once a year. <laughs> but every once, once a couple of years, I guess. Yep. Oh, there's the little birds along the edge. That's just so cute. at work today so it's nice quiet at home no TV going on yay TV gives me a headache after a while I just I just do not not even have a TV but it is nice to have that nice screen to watch videos on. think I've done enough for now because my arm's getting a little sore from doing this so let's swap out and we'll get my other trimmer and then I can cut these pieces in half and get them ready to be stored and used all right so the three pieces put them together and we want to cut them at six inches right there Ta -da. and then that way when I go to make a card then I can cut off one inch and then I then I have it or half an inch and then I have a card front that I can use a card front layer and then this smaller strip can go on the inside and I really like doing that because then my insides always match the outside so that's the reason why I like to do that Alrighty, so six inches again this is gorgeous. Well, I just cut that the wrong way. Oh, well. <laughs> what did I do? Did I cut it at five, probably. Nope, five and a half. Well, oh, well, that's okay. I can do this one at six. Six inches. There, I guess those I'll have to use up first. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't really matter, but all righty. Six, Barbara, six. That's better. 
I mean, this is my favorite piece right here. Just, I love the colors and I love the design. It's just gorgeous. This reminds me of water. So these might be turned into, oh, I just did five and a half again. And I'm sitting there looking at it going, okay, am I doing this right? <coughs> Excuse me. All righty. But yeah, I've got some water animal stamped images. I think those will be fun to play with on that paper. This is really cool paper. I like this for background. Very unusual. So look how quickly that that is to cut it apart. And then I have a nice little stack of card layers that I can play around with. There I go. All righty, so this is what we've got. That's pretty cool, huh? That's a nice lot of uh, card layers. And then I've got all these bits and pieces that I can use also. How exciting. Actually, I may as well cut it right there, right on that line. Get that circle right off of there. All righty. Ta-da. And then I've got all these strips. All right, those ones actually need to be cut right in half. This one does two. That one does two. I think I cut all the ones in half already that have the circles on them. Well, I ripped them in half, I guess I should say. <laughs> There. All right. That's going to be pretty. Maybe I'll, st I'll probably start with these first and cut these ones in half. Or actually, maybe I'll make a strip card. There. I'll do that. That's a nice idea. Let me put these away. And I'll show you where I put these. These go right in this file here. And I just open that up and put them all in there. Ta da! I recently cut up a whole atlas so I've got a lot of map pages in there that'll be really cool and fun to play with I did make a couple cards with them uh, with some of them already and that was a lot of fun alrighty so I think I'm gonna get off of here now and then I'll I'm gonna come back on and turn these into at least one card we'll see how what I come up with so I hope you like this idea of how to cut apart a, a paper pad a 12 by 12 paper pad and I hope that gives you some inspiration. And um, if you do it differently, then please share in the comments. I would like to know. Maybe you've got a better idea than I do. So you never know unless we ask, right? Alrighty, so I do appreciate your thumbs up. That really does help me to get my videos pushed out there by YouTube. That's what they look for is those thumbs up and then they share my video more often. So I do appreciate that. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.